Hey, what's up guys? I'm Laura Alvarado and I help fit pros attract, convert, and retain clients so they can have more impact, income, and freedom. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on attraction, specifically with this lead magnet pack that I've put together for you. So I'm going to go over exactly all of the free done for you resources and how to use them. So the whole purpose of a lead magnet is not just to get emails. Like the old lead magnets, yes, we just wanted to get emails. But nowadays, what you really want to do with a lead magnet is start a conversation that you can then use to um, book an appointment or actually close a sale. A lot of my clients are actually closing sales over chat, so Facebook Messenger or text message. In fact, one of my clients, Megan, just sent out an email to her list and closed over $6,500 all through chat, no sales appointment. So that's another story. Again, so the whole purpose of the lead magnet is to start a conversation with your prospects. So yes, you can collect emails, but better yet, let's start a conversation. So keeping that in mind, I'm gonna show you all the different ways that you can use this lead magnet pack, but also you can apply these same principles to any lead magnets that you put together. So this pack specifically is dessert smoothie recipes. You can see we've got a whole recipe book. Our graphic designer put it together. It looks really, really snazzy for you, all right? And so in this Google Drive folder, you'll find that PDF here, and you'll also find this um, kind of recipe book image with no background that you can use in a lot of variety of ways. So the very first way that you could use this is to email your existing list. I love emailing my list little gifts. Um, you don't want to always email your list asking them for things, so this is a great way to start a conversation. One of the things that you could do is say, hey, I've just put together this recipe book, um, dessert smoothie recipe book, is this something you like? And when they reply back, not only can you give them the resource, but it's also an opportunity to then start a conversation with them. If you're using ManyChat or some other chat bot, you could also say, hey, if you like it, send me a message here. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can use this with your email list. The second way that you can use this is inside of your Facebook group if you have a prospecting Facebook group. So I always recommend in your prospecting Facebook group to have a cover photo with a call to action. And I've put together this Canva template for you. I'm not a graphic designer, so obviously you could make this look a lot better, but you can see I basically just put the graphic here and then it prompts them to click here to download, right? So you don't wanna waste your cover photo um, with no call to action, you always want to have a call to action in your cover photo. Now, of course, when they click this, it's not actually going to take them anywhere, but let me pull it up for you. This may look familiar to you. This is my Facebook group, so you can see, click here. And when they click there, it's going to basically just open the photo description. So in the photo description, you'd either want to put a link to the funnel, which I'm going to go over in just a second, um, or like I said, if you're using ManyChat, you can put a link for um, them to start a conversation with you to get the lead magnet that way. So you can use it in your cover photo. You can also just post it in your group. And again, I love giving gifts inside of my group. You don't always want to be asking for things. You also want to be giving things inside of your group. So you can just do a simple post. Hey, I just put this together. Comment below if you're interested. Something kind of like... this, right? A really simple post, comment if you'd like it, and then anybody who comments, you're simply going to just hit reply. It'll auto tag them, which is good. You want to tag them and just put just sent you a DM with the recipe book. So again, the whole purpose of a lead magnet is to start conversations. And then after you give them the resource, you want to continue the conversation to either try and sell them something over chat or to book a call. So this strategy can work really, really well. So you can use this lead magnet inside of your group, either as a call to action in your cover photo or as simply a free gift to your group. So again, if you need this um, Canva template, that will be available for you in the Google Drive. There is a um, share link one. So there, this 
document here will have the share link. It'll take you into Canva. Canva is free. They have a free version or the paid version, I think is like 10 bucks a month, and you can simply click to edit it. So let's say this is a little girly for you or your business. You could change this to colors to whatever. You can also just add a photo. Let me search workout. Maybe you're somebody who just like maybe CrossFit or something a little bit less girly than this. You could simply drag or drop any photo in there. Super, super easy to change up this template. All right, so I've also put together for you a simple funnel that you can use, which looks like this. Really, really simple, an opt-in, a way to collect emails. So this is the kind of the old school way of using a lead magnet. And I'm gonna show you how to start a conversation with this method as well. Email marketing is not dead, it's still very effective, so I always recommend collecting emails. Um, and so here, is what the funnel will look like. You're gonna to wanna to edit a few things. The first thing I always like to do is to edit my SEO metadata because it's really easy to forget to do that. So just make sure that you put your name in there. Everything else should be ready to go for you. Um, if you're going to integrate it with whomever your email newsletter service is, don't forget to go to integrations and you'll wanna connect that. And I'll go over the autoresponder emails that I wrote for you in just a second. And then everything else should be pretty simple. Um, and easy. I don't think you'll have much else to edit on this page. Now on the thank you page here, I've included two call to actions for you, and I recommend only one. You want only one call to action per page. So if you have a Facebook group, I would recommend sending them there. So um, again, don't forget to update the SEO metadata first because that's easy to forget. And don't forget to put your program name or your gym or studio name down here. That's easy to forget. And then I want you to pick one or two of these call to action. So right now there's two on this page. So the first one is an invitation to your Facebook group. So it's basically saying you can download all the recipes, want more simple and delicious recipes, plus workouts and more, watch this video. So film a short video, let them know who you are, who do you help? And then why should they join your group? What are they going to get out of the group? So um, you can see in my group, I promise workouts, nutrition, and lifestyle. So tell them just a little bit about who you are. I'm Laura, and I help busy moms in the Napa area, blah, 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 blah. In my free group, you'll get this, 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 and this. Just click the link to join, and then let them know what to expect. Like there might be some membership questions or whatever it is that you want them to do. So you can create a simple video and then have a link to join the group. Now, if you're going to use this call to action, you want to definitely delete this block here. Okay. Now, if you don't have a Facebook group, that's okay. I want you to delete this button, delete this and delete all of these. You'll keep this success. Um, you can download the recipes below. And then here's a little letter and you'll want to basically prompt them to share. So you'll need to edit two things. One here, the link. So you'll want to um, edit this link right here and you want it to link to the first step in your funnel, which will be if you click on the opt-in right here, you'll want to grab this link right here. Okay, so that's the first place that you'll need to edit. And You'll wanna put the link there. I think all of this should be done. You'll wanna obviously put your name instead of mine. And I already attached the PDF here for you. Um, so there's no need to reattach it unless you want it on your Google Drive for whatever reason. So they should be able to click that and go right to the PDF. I always like to just test everything and make sure that it's working well before I send it out to my list. So let's just make sure that bad boy is working. And yes, it is. It took me right there. Perfect. So there is a funnel that you can use. Again, the share link for the funnel is here on the share links page. Feel free to change up the colors or whatever to make it fit your business needs. So that's here. Now, finally, I have some autoresponder emails after somebody opts in through the funnel. And those are here. 
So again, the first one is just giving them the resource so they don't have to bookmark the page. Um, and again, shorter is better with emails. Long form emails are not working very well. And the whole purpose of these emails is to start a conversation. So there's the first one you're gonna send it immediately. We're gonna have a PS that's gonna prompt them to join your group because once they're in your group, you can start a conversation with them over Messenger or send them additional resources. There's lots of stuff that you can do. Um, let's give this a second to load. Number two, you can send a um, client testimonial video. Again, you'll notice the email format here is very short and sweet. We're not going to type out every testimonial about every word from the testimonial about the client. Instead, we're just going to include a screenshot of the video and then a link to watch the video. So very short, very sweet. If they want to hear the story, they can click it for more um, of a longer in-depth summary so you could take them to another page um, if you don't have a client testimonial video or you're not sure how to do this you could simply omit it and then here is where the magic happens number three we have a conversation starter email so the subject is going to be their first name and it's going to say hope you're enjoying your recipes i've got a special offer if you'd like to drop whatever you can just fill this in with um anything that you like. So you can do anything less than 30 days. So whatever your promise is and whatever the time frame is, it can be in the next seven days, two weeks, 21 days, 30 days. I just wouldn't do anything longer than 30 days. So I've got a special offer if you'd like to whatever in the next however many days are you interested. So these type of emails work a lot better than, again, a long form sales email where you go through all the details of your program and try and sell over email. So I hope even if you do not use this dessert smoothie lead magnet that by watching this presentation, I've given you some ideas on how to more effectively use lead magnets instead of just collecting somebody's email. Again, the whole purpose of a lead magnet is to start a conversation so that you can then either use my close by chat system to book a call or actually sell them something over Messenger. Down below, you'll see a button that says if you want the resources to send me a message. When you click that button, it'll open Facebook Messenger and send a direct message to me. Just type in something like send me the dessert smoothie lead magnet pack and I will send you the Google Drive link with all of these done for you resources. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video with more tips to help you grow and scale your fitness business. Bye.